What's up everybody, Me Time Gamer here bringing you a new game called Dead in Bermuda. If you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I'm bringing you a new game called, of course, Dead in Bermuda, like I said at the beginning. Uh, so this, I think, is a sort of um, sort of a, a stat management, a sort of a, a managing team and stuff on an island. Basically, you're trying to survive and collect resources and stuff, but you're not actually... It's not like a, uh, a H1Z1 or a DayZ or stuff like that. It's actually just like, if I remember from the previews I watched there, it's just like a drag and drop and uh, then you sort of artificially move time anyway you'll see i think you'll see in the video and we'll learn together anyway but if ready i'm definitely ready let's let's get it going oh oh no A few hours after the crash. Alejandro. Hey everyone, let's regroup and talk a bit. Alice. Thank you everyone for your help is making a ca- Thank you everyone for you- Let me start over on this talking part. Thank, thank you everyone for help for your help is making a camp. It's heartwarming to see that we are sticking together after, you know, the horror that, the horror that just happened. Why am I having so much problem talking about this? Alice. Let's take a moment to introduce ourselves, since we may have to live together for a while now. I'm Alice, 45, and th th this is my husband, Robert. We came here from Montreal. I love hiking and cooking. I should give her a French accent. God damn it. I am pleased to meet you all. Bob. You can call me Bob, guys. Don't know what to say. I like to think here a bit at home, oh, and going fishing and on Sundays. Alejandro. Okay, thanks. So my name is Alejandro. I'm 32. You all might remember me. I'm the manager of the holiday resort we were all staying in. The flight was my first holiday in 10 years, so yeah. Winters. Uh, he like, hi, I'm Dr. Oh, she's a doctor. We can't give her a stupid accent. Hello. Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Brandy Winters from La I see I started with the right accent. Hi, I'm Dr. Brittany Winters from London, England. If you need help, medical help, please come see me. Yuri, of course. Il Iliana. Uh, my, da my dad doesn't speak much. Please excuse him. I'm Ilana, 16. We come from Sanville in Russia. Uh, and Julia married my dad last summer. Uh, hello. Everything's already said. Don't expect me to reveal my age or I should have silence. I should have you silence forever. Okay. Jacob. Are we finished? We're wasting precious time. We must organize ourselves. I'm Jacob. I know how to survive in a hostile environment. This is something I've spent my whole life preparing for. While you were all useless to scrying, I was around and found a large water tank containing clean, wa clear water, enough resources to make a fire. You're right, Jacob. But before we continue, I would like to suggest that we take a moment of silence in honor of those who didn't survive the crash. They will haunt my night until I leave this world. Okay. Discussion result. Effect. Plus in wood, plus blah, 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 Depression. Okay. Welcome to Bermuda. This is a camp view where you can assign characters to activities that will perform during the day. You can move your mouse left and right. View all of the camp. Characters are assigned to action slots right now. They're all assigned to campfire action slot, which is talk. To, mo to move a character, you can either drag, drag and drop him on a new slot or right click on him to cl and click again on the desired action slot. Move a character from the campfire to scavenge action slot at the plane, far left of the camp. Okay, so, move a character to scavenge slot, far left. Near the cr okay, so, let's take Alejandro. Okay, this character will search the crash site for useful resources. But beware, seeing the dead passengers or corpse will decrease their depression state. There are five states in the game. Hunger, depression, sickness, injury, and fatigue. If any of these reach... 
100, the related character will die. Next move, two other characters in the research action slot at the library. Okay, where's the library? Okay, that's the library. Oh, she's the medic. Uh, Yelana. The character will search for new crafting plans. Once the progress gauge reaches 100, it will discover a new recipe. The efficiency of every task is tied to a specific skill. Every character has different strengths and weaknesses. But for now, move three other characters to explore action slot at the jungle. Try to find the best combination. Where the fuck is that? But we'll take uh, we'll take Jacob because he seems to be an army guy. So where do I move them? These characters will explore the island. You can select which square to explore by clicking the jungle and then clicking on their correspond action in the action wheel, else they will explore randomly. Last thing to do now is to make a fire. To craft a new thing you, for your camp, click on the workshop then click choose cra crafting recipe and select a server that you want. Click on the workshop, select choose crafting recipe and select the campfire recipe to click OK. Choose a crafting. Okay, good. Each crafting has some braces so they can by scanning the plane and the island to unlock new recipes. You must discover them first by research action at the library. You conveniently have the exact amount of resources to, to craft a campfire, so the crafting will start once you assign a character to crafting. Now assign two last character to crafting. Okay. Okay, looks good. Every everyone is assigned to a task. Let's now advance the time and see the results of their action. The game is comp the composed into two phases of daytime during which you can freely assign characters to tasks and fa one phase of nighttime. When you are ready, click the next button. Fifteen wood, eight ropes, tasty meals, three meals, fruits, fabric, pillow, coffee cup. Jesus Christ. Oh no. We got a fire. Uh, we finished crafting the recipe campfire. This has definitely helped. We managed to make a, a fireplace with a, f a few rocks and start a fire with wood and special mushroom called tinder. Okay. You can assign a character to talk action around that lowering the depression. Nice. Cool. We need a shelter to recover from the fatigue we gain by working hard all day under the sun. New kind of sleeping area, okay. New area discovered. That's the basics. Have noticed how the time has passed and the result of character's action. Try to discover a new crafting recipe and scavenge enough resource to craft it. Select a new recipe. Okay, dokie. Okay. 
Great, crafting is important in the game as it adds new possibilities for actions within the camp, so don't neglect it. You choose have picked up some f f you should have picked up some food for tonight. In the plane eating won't be a problem for today. You also have some fruits that can run to water supplies. Click on the water tank, check your water supplies and convert some food into water. What the fuck? Water is very important. If your supply reaches zero, it's game over. Once one can't survive very long without water, so make a good use of these those fruits. Your characters are a bit depressed right now. You can lower the depression by making them talk around the campfire. We have at least two characters to action slot. Okay. Okay, we'll move Alejandro so he doesn't get too depressed over there. And. Uh, I think Alice can uh, cuddle up with him. You can lower the state of your character in a different way. Once a more direct approach, so use a special item for instant effect. In order to do that, click on the character and use uh, use action. Okay. Alejandro. Use item. Cool. Don't forget to use special item. They will make your life much, much easier. They're available for anyone. You also discover an area of the island. Let's see what's there. Click on the map. When send characters exploring the island, you unlock new areas that can be visited at any time. On each square, there is an object and there is location randomized by each new game. Characters can freely interact with the object. It doesn't pass time. Instead, you have a chance to be attacked by a nasty beast depending on how stealthy the short character is. When you're finished with the ob the object, go back to the campfire and select next. Um. God damn it. One basket. Fish. Fish bait. Back to campfire. Go back to the camp and click next when ready. Plus one crafting, one crafting. Minus one pillow, one rope, five rope, ten wood. Open book. New traits are discovered faster two times. Cool, okay. Alright. Okay, good work everyone. I know it's hard, but we sca but we scavenged some food from damn plane. I'm sure we'll find some I'm sure we'll find more if we continue to search the wreckage. But uh, it will only last for a few days. After that, we'll turn on our own. Anyone knows how, uh, how to hunt? I do. But not with my bare hands. Well, we'll need to find a crafting some tools. We'll need to find or craft some tools. Let's share some food we found. We should ration our daily, daily meals. Uh, water too. Without water... The average person dies after only three days. A frightening thought. Don't worry, we can make juice out of fruits. The island is covered in jungle. We'll find. The island is covered in jungle. We'll find plenty. Yes, that's a very good idea, Ilana. We'll need plenty of those if we want to survive until the help comes. What help? We should at least try to reach the jungle. Maybe someone lives there. Yes. And if we find a bigger tiger, we're dead. Well, tomorrow is another day. Good night, everyone. Good night, Dallas. Generally, each night your characters will chat with each other. There are conditioned and randomized elements which trigger some of these dialogue events. 
so you won't always have the, sun, the same discrepancy each new game. You must now share the food between the characters. Each food has its own internal value. All perishable food has a chance to degrade each night. Choose what you eat wisely. Drag and drop meals on the characters. Okay. Night in Bermuda. Fire intensity minus 25, water supplies minus 8. Two out of your four tasty meals have degraded into meals. Two out of three fresh fish have degraded into barely eatable fish. A bit hungry, moody, blah 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 blah. Okie dokie. Alright, so so far, it's not too bad. Did you notice perishable food have changed and deteriorating each night? Tasty meals degrade into meals which degrade into barely eatable stuff. Which finally turns to rotten food. Also, your fire decrease intensifies. When it drops to zero, you lose your fire. You can craft again if you have the resources, but they are very scarce in the island. To avoid that, feed your fire every day. When assigning more than one character to a task, it efficiently depends on each character's skills and relationship. The relationship will also progress. There is always a slight chance that they will argue each instead. Each action is tied to, to one of several skills, and these progress automatically every time they are used. When enough progress is made on their skill, the character will level up and gain bonus skill points to distribute freely among any of their skills. Good luck and have fun. Alright. Alright, so... God damn, there's a lot of fucking... Alright, so... What can we do next? Okay, we'll... We'll get Alice to go uh, explore the wreckage, scavenge. Uh, we can maybe go here and she can, uh, let's put her in research. Yeah, she doesn't have a very, very big knowledge experience though. Alright, let's try this. Plus five woods, rope, tasty meal, meal, fruits, axe, good, good. Tools, okay. Alright, alright. We need some tools to help us gather research in the jungle since the research can be scattered from the plane. Records are not infinite. Uh, gathering tools. Okay. Plus one exploration, plus one exploration. Cool. God damn it, Yuri. One coffee. Spices. Oh, shit. Okay. Do 
Yes. Create and scourge the planks. All right. All right. I think we're going to craft some, um... Alright, next day. More wood. Rope. Fabric. Tasty meal. Meal. How was your day, Jacob? Quite well, madame. Thanks for asking. Never seem to run into you during the day. That's because one must be stealthy when walking around the jungle filled with dangerous beasts. You think the jungle is a threat to us? Sure, madame. We, can only, we, we can't rely on anything and anyone other than ourselves now. At least we can count on everyone in this little group of survivors. Hmm, are you certain of that? Well... That's Yuri. I don't trust him. He looks like a tug. Sure, he was, he was in the Soviet army. My thought exactly. KGB agents are everywhere, madame, despite when our government says the war isn't still on. Frightening thought. I'll keep both eye open. Okay. Feeding time. I'm probably going way too much on the meals right now. Game saved. Wood, rope, tasty meal, 
meal or painkillers chocolate box come on Why is there two coming from a plane crash? Does it belong to anyone? I don't know. Come on, do it. Damn it. God. He's full, tourist bag. Fabric. Psychology magazine. Chocolate box. Painkillers. Back to the campfire. I think we will uh, use item. Cool. Oh, not again, not again. Damn it. move on scavenging okay Ooh, level two wood rope meal barely edible stuff yay yay Need some tools to help us harvest some fruit. Fruit are easily picked up, picked up, and we can make juice from them. Okay. Julia, you come from Russia, right? What do you do for a living up there? That's none of your business, and it doesn't matter anymore. Well, it was just a simple question. It's important that we know a bit about everyone in the group. We must trust each other. Or maybe we shouldn't. Why? Do you, you know something? You think that the crash was provoked by someone here? Everything is possible. Even that, that you did it. How dare you? Can't believe my ears. Touch your subject, huh? Of course you didn't do it. Calm yourself. You look guilty when you get defensive so quickly. Okay.
eat, eat the almost no more good food. Some people are going to go to bed soon. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the game. The game's pretty fun. It's a lot of thinking about what's going on and I'm still a bit confused what I need to do exactly. It's a lot of balancing and stuff. Uh, still very fun though. I still am, I'm still enjoy, I'm still enjoying the game itself. Uh, of course, if you enjoyed the game, like the, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below what you think about the game so far or any tips and tricks you can give me about the game itself. Any something to facilitate my life or who is better for what task in a certain case. Anything of that. Uh, you can follow me everywhere, Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, and right here, youtube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where you can f see all the, other video I, all the other videos I post every day, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.